What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Richie Ruckus. It's Saturday, December 9th. It is snowing here in Philadelphia if you cannot pick up on the background scenery. Um, we're expecting like two to four inches today, I think. That's what she said. <laughs> As you notice, we're not in the sneaker room today. A lot of moving parts going on today. Got to go pick up the sneaker things hoodie, restock from the print shop, and go mail them out right now to all you guys who bought them. There are still a few sizes available. RichieRuckus.com, $25. I ship everywhere. Speaking on sneaker things, going to be a new hoodie dropping sometime this week. I will be leaving messages all over my social all week. Little Easter eggs for you guys to put two and two together and then I'll announce the drop, but it's going to coincide with the colorway of the blue tint Yeezy. So that's gonna be a definitely a dope pickup for you guys. So right now you can still go cop the black and red sneaker thing hoodie on richieruckus.com and later this week there will be a new drop and a brand new colorway for you guys. The second thing I kind of want to address, a lot of people have been messaging me and DMing me asking me to extend the Beluga giveaway since we didn't achieve our goal by yesterday. I am willing to do that and extend it till next Friday. If you guys are okay with extending the Ultra Boost giveaway, I can't give people you know more opportunity to get the Belugas and then cut the Ultra Boost giveaway. So leave comments down below if you want me to extend both giveaways to Friday the 15th. I will gladly do that. My camera is shaking like a mug right now. So if you guys want me to extend both giveaways, I gladly will. Like I said, leave comments down below. Just really trying to pay attention while I'm driving in the snow right now. The next topic at hand, and the most important topic at hand, today was a feast for me as far as sneakers. As you guys know, I posted on my, so on my Instagram a few days ago. Uh, with the sneakers app, the Nike Plus Unlock, I was able to get the Jordan 11 Winlick 96, all red Jordan 11s early. I was at, you know, one of the Nike Unlock members that was able to get them on Thursday. That made today a lot easier for me. And then today, I just happened to wake up about 7:30 this morning. I went to go let the dog out, and I went on Twitter. Yeezy Mafia tweeted out that Yeezy Supply was live with the Grey Cow Bass. The link was already a few minutes old by the time I seen it, so I didn't really figure that I had a good enough chance to get them. But as luck would have it, I was able to cop the Cow Basses seamlessly. Saturday, I wake up, I already got the Jordan 11s, and then I get the Cow Basses and go right back to sleep. It's like 11.30 right now on Saturday morning, and no sneaker headaches, no taken L's, the two biggest sneaker releases of the weekend, I was able to secure and have all copped, everything done by 7.30 this morning, which is a rarity in itself. But it makes me want to talk about two important things right now. One, can you imagine just two years ago, because the Space Jams, if you really wanted the Space Jams, you were able to get them. But, you know, if you go back to at least like the past, if you go back like two years ago, getting the, the Jordan, Getting the Jordan 11 holiday release was never that easy. There, you know, people have been shot. There has been brawls. There has been riots over the Jordan 11 holiday release. And you know, the fact that it was just so easy for me and many others, and I know right now they're still sitting. I know a few people that just got them on like Finish Line and the Sneakers app and everything this morning. And I won like a couple in-store raffles that I didn't find out about until Friday. And at that point, I already ordered them off Nike. So it was kind of pointless for me to go to the in-store raffles. I'm not a reseller. I was thinking about maybe grabbing one to rock, one to stock, because as you guys know, I am a humongous sucker for a red sneaker. But and I decided against it. It's so crazy how sneakers have changed over just the, you know, just the last few years. You know, it's so hard to get a Jordan 11 holiday release two years ago. I mean, you're, you literally would have had to jump through hoops. I even remember when the Gammas came out, you know, standing in line, camping out. That was like right before raffles started, you know, around where I'm from. And, you know, sitting out there all night early. And I got my size. I was like the second in line. 
but and that was like the week before Christmas. So like I spent the Saturday before Christmas just sitting in line waiting for these sneakers, and, and that was a good December back then because they were they re-released the bread ones that year, and they did the Gamma Elevens in the same month, and it was just a very very bountiful, fruitful month if you were a sneakerhead. But to just be able to sit home the Thursday before the release and get the notification that you were picked, you know, for the Nike Unlock to grab the Jordan 11s. It was just so seamless and so you know, hassle-free. And big shout-outs to Nike. Big shout-outs to Jordan Brain. Very, very dope move by them. I am truly blessed. As you guys know, I love the Jordan 11. I love red sneakers. It was just very, very, very easy. And, you know, I am very blessed for that. Second, the Calabasas is, like I said, that link was at least, you know, 10, 15 minutes old when I got, when I got on there. And... The fact that I was able to go on, add to cart right away, check out right away without even like, you know, redirecting or anything like that. It was just so, so seamless. My question to you guys is, was this the easiest Yeezy drop to date? Leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. I for sure think it was the easiest. The only other Yeezy I, was, I had this seamless of a transaction with would have been the Wave Runners because they sat for, you know, like three hours. And I got my bread V2s pretty, pretty seamlessly on Adidas. I wasn't on the splash page that long. I was able to check out fairly fast. I had a tougher time with my creams than I did with my breads. All that being said, the Beluga 2.0 obviously was the easy cop because I got them in store. I won in store raffles. Me and Iasia both did. But the Calabasas were only being released in Adidas Chicago, Adidas New York, Adidas LA. Some Adidas retailers like Ubik and stuff like that was getting them. And then it was just Yeezy Supply and Adidas.com. So I thought it was very, very dope and very, very easy transaction. So like I said, guys, leave comments down below. Let me know if you guys thought it was the easiest Yeezy drop to date. I'm going to go pick up these hoodies, mail these hoodies out to you guys that have ordered them. But until tomorrow, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace. Holla. Richie Ruckus, bitch.